So here's part two, and if you haven't seen part one, go check out my other videos, and you'll see part one. Uh, part two of some new features in iOS 7 that you may not know about. You might know about some of them, but hopefully there's at least one thing that you'll learn from this video. So check it out. Okay, first thing, and you probably know about this. Uh, you may not know about it, but um, there is a flashlight built in. So if you drag up from the bottom, you'll get this cool new menu here where you can quick access to airplane mode, wireless, your Bluetooth, all that cool stuff. But there's also a flashlight down in the bottom left corner. So you turn that on, and as you can see, there's a flashlight. So, so you can get to that from your lock screen. Uh, and you can turn that off if you don't want to be able to access it from your lock screen, but you can get to it from your lock screen or unlocked. Another thing that's different with iOS 7 is closing apps. You used to be able uh, to double click and you get the little bar down at the bottom and you hold your finger on an icon, it would wiggle and uh, it would go away. That's a little different now, so in order to close something you just drag up on the preview and toss it off the screen and then it is gone like that so that is how you get rid of and close apps now one small little thing that I noticed is the clock icon it is a real clock now uh, before it was just a stationary image never changed now it updates um, it keeps real time so it's an anal analog clock. Something else that is new, you can have your apps automatically update, so you don't have to go into your app store and click on each individual one to update, and to do that, you go under settings, under iTunes and App Store, and under iTunes and App Store, and you see this says automatic downloads, you can choose updates there. You can turn it on, and now if an update to an app that you have installed becomes available, it will automatically download and update those apps. So with iOS 7, you can also block callers and block, I guess, spam messages. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in the phone. So you go to Recent Calls, and you'll see down the side here is a bunch of I, a little I with a circle for, I guess, information. Um, so you just click on that little eye next to that number and if you scroll down you'll see block this caller so then you'll never receive any calls from that person again so um, there are tons of new ringtones and uh, some a new change in backgrounds if you go to wallpaper you can choose between a dynamic wallpaper and stills. Now the dynamic wallpapers they will actually float and move around in the background so that's a new addition. Okay another new addition is in the camera app. And as you see I have a toy camera or a toy phone in front of me. You can apply filters while you're taking pictures. There's a bunch of different options for filters for taking your photos. You can apply those filters in both the regular photo and the square photo um, modes, as you can see there. Okay, so my last one for this video is regarding private browsing in Safari. So what that means is it won't save any of your uh, cookies or any of the history internet history while you're doing uh, private browsing and before you had to go into settings and click Safari and then click privacy and enable it and you had to you know go back in there when you're done and disable it uh, so it was kind of a pain to get in and do that but now it's much easier open Safari and you can see I'm browsing it in regular mode if you click the second icon from the right which is your bookmarks and you'll see down in the bottom left corner there's a word private so you can enable private browsing within Safari so now you can see the uh, top 
bottom is all dark to let you know that you're browsing in privacy mode and none of your cookies and history will be saved. Um, to disable it, just do the same thing. Open your bookmarks, go to, click on the private, and you can disable it there. So now you can see I'm back in regular browsing mode. Okay, so I hope you at least learned one thing from this video. Um, if I find out any more cool things uh, that aren't completely obvious, then I might make a third video. But uh, until then, share this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you learned one thing, just give it a thumbs up. It's not going to hurt you to just click on that little icon. So, and also share it. So, you might not learn something, but somebody out there will learn at least one thing. If you don't admit it, I bet you learned one thing from this video. So, share it, thumbs up, and thanks for watching.